Remember Ethan Winters, the man who can't stop losing his hands in Resident Evil? <sighs> oh, shit! His story may be finished, but the Winters legacy hasn't ended. Yet. Hey hey hey! Welcome to my channel everyone! I'm the Global Cherry and today we will theorize what to expect for the Shadow of Rose DLC, the Resident Evil Showcase, and other upcoming Resident Evil projects. Before we begin, subscribe, like the video, and enjoy the show! On October 13th, Resident Evil's Twitter account posted a teaser for Resident Evil 8's DLC as a taste of what's to come for the Resident Evil showcase. You are my precious rose. And I didn't care. So long as we were together. A leak said that the showcase date would be October 14th. However, seeing as there is no date confirmed, there could be the possibility of the showcase happening between October 18th and October 22nd. Shadow of Rose takes place 16 years after the main events of Resident Evil Village and Ethan Winter's sacrifice. His daughter Rose survived in protective custody, but her status as a mutant led her to become an outcast. She's Her abilities go far beyond Mother Miranda, the Resident Evil 8 antagonist, and Evelyn, the RE7 bioweapon in the form of a little girl. She could be under surveillance of the BSAA or Umbrella if she is considered this dangerous. In this DLC, Rose hopes to remove her powers and live the rest of her life as a human. Upon touching a surviving piece of the Black God, she enters the consciousness of the Megamycete, seeing scattered memories of consumed humans over the centuries. One memory includes the Jolly Duke who sold us ammunition and necessities in RE8. What happened to such a good soul? Duke, you'll protect me, right? Duke? Duke? Yoo-hoo! Oh, you're awake. He is much darker in this DLC in comparison to his counterpart. Rose will explore familiar locations from Resident Evil 8 such as Castle Dimitrescu, Moreau's Swamp, and other locations. Some doors previously opened in the main game will be locked in the DLC and will require bolt cutters to open them. In her journey to get rid of her powers, she will face threats and terrors within the Mega Mycete's consciousness. One creature is called a face eater that grips you and eats your face. What's interesting is that some creatures are harmless and will just pass by you. You'll find out yourself which creatures want to kill you. Rose is not alone, as a hallucinatory figure named Michael guides her throughout this DLC and provides her clues in the form of magical writing. He will continuously communicate with Rose in her struggle against the Black God and the Mega Mycete's consciousness. In the 8 minute gameplay, Rose was in need of a weapon, and Michael materialized a handgun for her from the writing. Where am I gonna get a gun? What, like this? There was a theory that Michael is Ethan Winters using a different name. In Resident Evil Village, Ethan discovered that he is made out of mold and that he actually died in the Baker House. The connection with mold could enable Ethan to talk to Rose and spend time with her for the last time. She is a chosen prodigy of the Mega Mycete after all. A year ago, people proved that Ethan was the one standing in front of the car at the end of Village. Another theory is that Ethan Winters is alive and will fight with Rose in this DLC. There are tons of mysteries within Shadow of Rose for the protagonist to uncover. In the trailer, Rose sees her doppelganger who is a dark version of herself. Just like me. This could be Evelyn's side of Rose's consciousness taking over again. Mother Miranda mentioned that Rose is Evelyn's true form, with the ability to control the mind of the masses. Rose could do what Evelyn did to the Baker family to the nth degree. That is terrifying. They're mine now. What? <laughs> Mother Miranda's daughter Ava died of the Spanish flu, so Miranda searched for her consciousness within the Mega Mycete in hopes of reviving her. Rose's hair has a semblance to Miranda's, so her doppelganger could be a reborn Ava Mother Miranda wanted her to be. Shadow of Rose will be in third person, and Rose's abilities are put to the test. 
Rose will run slower than Chris and Ethan, which compels the players to use her powers more. Rose has ice powers for defensive purposes used to stun, evade enemies, solve puzzles, and destroy obstacles. Her powers manifest over the course of the game, including the abilities to slow down time. Who knows? She may even have Ethan's abilities to regenerate from bodily injury. Please don't lose your hands. The point of this DLC is for her to survive rather than kill everything. As a 16 year old, she is not athletic nor is she good with guns. Rose is weak in comparison to Ethan and Chris and cannot use a guard mechanic. <laughs> She is equipped with a handgun with limited ammo and health items. The devs wanted there to be a sense of growth of her character during the progression of her powers in this DLC piece. Enjoy this conclusion of the Winter Family arc on October 28th. The Gold Edition of Resident Evil Village will also launch on that day, making it possible to access the expansion pack. There's also additional content added with this DLC, such as changes to the Resident Evil Village Mercenaries mode. A long time ago, you simped for Lady D. Now, you can become Lady D. You will be able to eradicate every enemy and use your three daughters, Daniela, Bela, and Cassandra to create chaos. No. What next? I can already think of one person who will enjoy playing as Lady D apart from me. I want a woman that could crush my head in between her thighs. It's not even a sexual thing! It's about the power! You can also play as Nicolas Cage with superpowers, Chris Redfield, and other characters from Resident Evil 8. Apart from Resident Evil Village, people made speculations that Rose and Chris Redfield will take out the bioweapons the BSAA created in Resident Evil 9. Jill Valentine was a character in the BSAA so there is a possibility of her being in the game. Or Nemesis won't leave her alone and she'll be too busy running away. Where is she? Another theory is that Chris will take on the BSAA himself. Whatever the future holds, Capcom has something special in store for their next game. Not only is Capcom working on Village's DLC, they are also working on a Resident Evil 4 remake set to release on March 24, 2023. The trailer for this game revealed a lot of unique details and raised a lot of hype for the game. We see our favorite police officer Leon Kennedy get a mission briefing. His appearance is similar to Leon in Resident Evil 6. We also see a different model for Ada Wong, a secret agent for the organization. The setting for Resident Evil 4's remake takes place in a village at night. Ashley Graham, the president's daughter, is seen running through the forest as if she's being chased. Most likely, it's the Spanish cult Los Illuminados trying to kidnap her. She gets to the first house that Leon arrives at later on in the game. This could mean there may be more playable Ashley sections. It would be cool if we can play as her in the Resident Evil 4 remake demo, where she gets kidnapped at the end, leading to events of the main game. It would be like the Maiden demo from Resident Evil Village, where Lady D ends up capturing us. Leon is on a mission to rescue Ashley and faces a lot of threats including the unruly villagers, or Ganados, plagued with La Plagas. It also looks like he will face enemies within Salazar Castle, which leads to the possibility of running into Ramon Salazar. Luis Serra appears in the remake as Leon's ally. Leon will also encounter Osman Sadler, the hooded figure who perpetrated the kidnapping of Ashley. This game will be one of the biggest remakes in history with many possibilities. Brand new settings, possessed stalls, maybe the infamous Hookman? The side characters are confirmed to play a much bigger role in the remake too. There were also supposed leaks on the game, like the castle in Chapter 3 being reworked, or Ingrid Hunnigan not being in the game, or Salazar still being a midget with a creepy personality. I kind of agree with the third leak. That is all for today. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like, comment your thoughts on these major Resident Evil projects, and subscribe to be welcome to the family. Welcome to the family, son. <clears throat> Ouch, that looks like it hurts. Thank you for watching, and that's all. How will Rose find freedom from her mysterious powers?